Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan here with another Plan With Me video in my mini Happy Planner. So there is my spread for Monday, April 23rd through to Sunday, April 29th. And I use the Choose Happy mini sticker book from the Happy Planner. So for this week, April 30th through to May 6th, I'm actually gonna be doing something different. I will be using, I just spread it all out here. I will be using the digital kit from Tracy Reed. This is the kit named Word to Your Mother. And it's actually a digital kit where you can print off all her digital papers, her digital journaling cards, and I've also printed off and cut all of my own stickers. So I've done this ahead of time just because I know how long and laborious it could be watching somebody fussy cut stickers. So I decided not to do that with all you all on um, my video and I would just show you what happens afterwards. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I am going to correct here is that the files do come as stickers, but because I didn't have sticker paper, I just printed them on regular paper and then I'm just gonna glue them down with glue sticks. One of the benefits of that though, is that I can basically set up my layout beforehand without having to peel anything up if there's something that I don't like in a certain place. So what you're going to see me do is play around with the layouts of the different journaling cards, the different stickers. And the great thing about these digital kits is that Tracy also sends you all of the individual files for the stickers or for the journaling cards. So if you want to create them slightly smaller or slightly longer, you can do so. And that's what I did with that large box on the left hand side labeled mom life. I wanted it to be longer so that I could fit it as a big to-do box between um, basically two days. And there you get to give, sorry, get a glimpse of some of the papers that I've printed off for the kit, but I realized it didn't really go with the whole um, white space that I wanted to do. And I realized I wanted to mimic the overall scheme on the left hand side with the scheme on the right hand side. I kind of wanted a mirror image in terms of where the boxes were placed. And then here I am trying to figure out the best place for the florals. And then I forgot, you know what, I actually have to take the pages out of the disc so I can easily glue them down. It's normally the first, one of the first things I do, but I just completely forgot. So now that I figured out the, pos the positioning of where I want everything to go, I'm going to glue everything down and I don't use a fancy glue tape gun or anything. I just use my glue stick, cutting off a little excess there. And I wanted to do the washi on both sides, right in the middle, just to add a little bit of an anchoring to your eye. But I also wanted them to be different because the great thing about Tracy's kits are that you get a huge selection of different patterns, but they all work so well together. And I love seeing two big full boxes in the middle of each of the pages. That's where my to-do list is going to go. And the great thing about that is that my to-do list isn't necessarily assigned for just one day. It can be assigned for all those days in that part of the week. I love this floor box in the bottom left hand corner with the uh, black checker there. It's just really, really cute. And another great way to add decoration, but that's also where I'm going to list a few things as well. And then that cute mom life script. Thought it's a great way to label a to-do list with hashtag mom life because this is the first week that i will be actually working from home my last day at the preschool was last friday and i'm starting a new full-time job with weight watchers working from home so i'm really excited about that and i thought the mom life kit was a great way to commemorate that one of the great things about these kits is um, the fact that you can cut out what you want and what you need. And I actually find it really relaxing cutting out your own stickers and cutting out the die cuts that you want to use. And the great thing about this kit as well is that you do get that selection. You can print off as many or as little as you would like. The colors of these are just so vibrant and pretty and I was so excited to use these. Now I wanted to use this kind of um, black and white graph looking washi to label my work shifts. 
I might try and find over the next few weeks a different way of labeling my workshops, but for right now I do like to have them on the days that I do actually have them. I know some people use habit trackers to label workshops for the week, but I like to see my workshops on the day that they actually are on my planner. So there, you saw me very quickly use my um, X-Acto knife to glue down certain pieces, very tiny pieces that I didn't want to get glue all over my fingers. And so you see there, I cut them into little fishtails and now I'm using the work script sticker from Green Darner Designs to just place over them. Cute little layering and I really like the way that it looks. So here it is, the, my finished spread, and I'm really loving how it turned out in the end. Um, it's nothing that I've really ever done before using a digital kit and making them into little digital stickers. I love the colors and I'm so happy with it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a lovely day.